Welcome to the video on how to download the GIS Basepack 8 setup files in order to install them onto your computer. First of all, you should receive an email with the link for the GIS Basepack 8 setup. In this link, um, as soon as you get to the web page, you'll notice that there are quite a few downloads on this page. The first download section is the GIS Base Pack 8 updates. These are for people who currently have GIS Base Pack and would like to update it, so it's not the full installation. The next one down is the GIS Base Pack 8 full version. This is the section that we do want to focus on. Before I download anything, what I would like to do and what I recommend to do is to create a folder specifically for this download and not download it directly to documents or downloads or wherever it may be on your computer. I'm going to minimize my, um, my internet here and I'm going to go on the desktop and make a new folder for this download. You can make the folder wherever you'd like. I just would like to have a specified folder for it. So if I right click on a blank area, I can go down to new, scroll over and left click on folder. I will now name the folder GIS Base Pack Setup and enter. Now I have this new folder on my desktop and if I do double click on it, you'll notice that there are no files in here. The folder is empty. So let's put that file inside that folder. We will need to download it off of the web page. I am using Google Chrome as a way to browse through the internet. So in this, under the full version downloads, I do have the setup and the setup without the magister. I will want to use the first link, which is the setup. If I right click, I have an option that says save link as. When I click on that, it gives me the name of the file that it's going to download and it allows me to go in here and choose where I would like to download to. If I simply left clicked on that file name, it would download to the default folder I have selected in my settings. So this is why I right clicked and said save link as. Now you do want to make sure GIS Base Pack 8 setup.exe is the file name. So I will go to my desktop and left click. I have the GIS Base Pack setup folder. Left double click to open. And now I will hit save. You will notice now again this is on Google Chrome with my settings the, the way they are, it is going to show me how long it is taking to download and whether or not that download is complete. I can now see that my download is complete and I can close down this web page. The other component that you will have to download is the key file for the GIS. This typically comes in an email as an attachment and you will want to save that to a location on your hard drive. And I will go ahead and minimize this and I will show you that this is the my update file for my dongle key. And I just save this directly to my desktop. So the first thing is to download those two files. I've saved the setup file within the folder and I've also downloaded the update file to my desktop. After those are saved, close all programs out and then you will want to run the setup file for the GIS base pack. In order to run the setup file, you will just need to open up that file and left double click to start the installation. Once the install is complete, you will then need to close everything out and plug in the GIS dongle. 
When you plug in the GIS dongle, you may notice that there is a message that comes up and asks you what you would like to do with the, the uh, drive. You can simply close that out or ignore it. Once that dongle is plugged in, now you do not have to have the program running just yet, but in order to activate the dongle with the key file, you just need to simply double click on the update file. Once you double click on the update file, it asks you to allow to make changes. Simply click yes. And then it will say it is now in demo mode. Close that out and then you are able to start the program. If you do have any questions, please contact us at 877-724-6400 for ZSK machines. Thank you.